Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our push strength, a little bit of chest work, a little bit of tricep work. So let's begin with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, making sure we unlock our mobility of our body. Now if you are experiencing the delayed onset of muscle soreness from the last brutal leg workout, it's absolutely fine. Make sure you rest well, you have good food and also include a little bit of foam rolling, maybe a couple of minutes of static stretching to relieve the tightness. This will wear off in a couple of days. If not, maybe three days, depending upon your body and your age, it might take that much amount of time. If you're young, it might recover quickly. But even if you're young and don't sleep in time, it'll take some time to recover. That said, post completing my greatest stretch repetitions, I moved on to my deep squat, making sure I squat every day into a deep squat, at least for few seconds, usually pre-workout, making sure I put my hips at a stretch and also my hamstrings, my quads, my calf muscles are engaged. Now post completing my dynamic stretching part, I moved on to my first exercise, which is the flat bench press. This is similar to what we have done last time, wherein we are going to do three sets, wherein the first set would be like a warm-up set, wherein we take a good challenging weight where we can get 15 repetitions. Here I have taken a 15 kilo dumbbell and made sure that I get efficient reps out of it. If you can see how I position myself, driving my feet upwards, pushing with my feet, my elbows are not beside my shoulders, but they're slightly tucked in closer to my body. My elbows never bend completely once they're down. They always stay in that perfect 90 degree angle so that the dumbbells are got always going straight up down. Make sure you try to get those 15 effective repetitions before moving on to a heavier weight. Now for my heavy set, I went on twice the amount of weight more than twice actually I went on and picked up the 35 kilo dumbbells and I was able to get those six repetitions without any spotting very confidently. Now that's an indication of building strength and good amount of stability over a period of hard work. So make sure consistency helps you with that. For the next exercise I moved on to the inclined bench setup simply raise the bench just by one increment for the inclined bench setup again do the same number of repetitions and sets start off with a 15 repetition warm-up exercise then move on to a two set six repetition heavy set post completing my bench i moved on to dips now for the dips is where oh, I, I have to do consider that it is not possible for everyone to do this or you're not at that level as of now you can choose to do four sets of push-ups do as many as possible every set. Or if you have an assisted dip machine, please use that to start practicing dips. Dips are simply a push-up which you do in the air. So complete four sets, as many repetitions as possible with 60 seconds break in between. After completing my dips, I moved on to my chest flies, one arm at a time chest flies on the chest fly machine or the pec fly machine as you like to call it, four sets. The first set, again, good challenging weight, 15 repetitions, each arm, get the pump going, get the blood flowing, feel the adduction one arm at a time. And post completing the 15 repetitions, I'm going to speed up the video because it's just same range of movement. There's hardly anything which you can do wrong in this particular exercise. I've done three sets of 10 repetitions with a slightly heavier amount of weight. Remember not to take any rest in between. You're just switching one arm to the other arm. Yes, it would be challenging. Your heartbeat will slowly start raising up. You might go a little bit of out of breath because after doing all that chest press work, going to exercise and doing non-stop work will get you fatigued. But that is the target or the objective of this particular exercise in the manner which we are doing. You may take a sip of water in between. That's absolutely fine. But try to keep your breaks as minimum as possible or absolutely no breaks while doing this particular exercise one arm at a time where one arm is resting while the other arm is working. I only moved 
just to shift the weight or decrease the weight in the last set because I was hitting the fatigue. So I lowered the weight by one increment to get the repetitions without failing before the target repetition mark. Post completing my chest flights, I move on to my tricep work wherein I start off with tricep kickups. This is something which I have done last time. Again, challenging work, post completing your chest, your triceps will already be a lot pumped up or engaged. So we start off with cable work wherein we keep a cable at a low level, hold your arms inward wherein your palms are facing out and your elbows are high up and from there you kick the elbow up or your wrist up activating your tricep. The cable will rub against your body that's absolutely fine there isn't any resistance coming from there but this is how the exercise goes. We'll do three sets of these, 20 repetitions again, each hand. Now you need, try to go to the full range of motion because here I was so tired or my triceps were already completely fired up that I wasn't able to get the full range of motion. But yes, try to get full range of motion. If not, it's absolutely fine. Let the cable pull you as close as possible to your, your body and try to kick it up as far up as possible. Again, no breaks in between you can just keep switching from one arm at a time i just moved a little bit because i noticed that camera was too close and i was not in the center of focus so otherwise yes keep going just switching from one arm to the other i'm going to sp speed up the video a little bit because it's a bit boring for you to watch me doing the same exercise but if you have any doubts please keep watching the video try to Imagine yourself doing the same video if you're not in the gym, if you're going to go to the gym and or if you're in the gym, just try it out a couple of times. Yes, it'll take a couple of times to figure out, but you will figure out. One thing, if you feel any kind of discomfort in your shoulders, I mean, there's a uh, uncommon discomfort or a pinching feeling in your shoulders, avoid this exercise. Maybe you already have an inflamed shoulder joint. This is an internally rotated, uh, internally rotated shoulder exercise. So avoid it. It's not necessary. You may do a single arm kickbacks instead. But if not, if your shoulders are healthy, go ahead and do it. It's not much of a pressure on your shoulder at all for a healthy shoulder. Post completing the tricep kickups, I moved on to my uh, superset, you may call it, wherein I have first started off with cable French presses, basically. We start doing tricep extensions with the cable rope attachment, as you can see, as I'm doing 20 repetitions. And once done with the 20 repetitions, I immediately push the cable level high and start off with my tricep, tricep push downs as many repetitions as possible without taking a break in between. Now, without taking a break in between both these exercises, that's one set. After completing one set, I move on to my second set after 45 to 60 seconds of break your triceps will be on fire. You will hit fatigue very quickly. You wouldn't be able to move that easily. So make sure the weight is challenging enough or just challenging enough to get those 20 repetitions and then hit failure. Don't take a weight which is absolutely lightweight. Thinking that, oh, this is too much work. I will not, let me not put too much weight on it because I want to get more repetitions. Take a challenging weight. Get that work done. Make sure pushing those 20 repetitions out of your triceps is challenging. Like you can see, I don't know if you can see clearly, I was really struggling to get that rope high up above my head for the last 10 repetitions. And then the rope push downs, I wasn't able to get my triceps completely or through the full range of motion or completely extended because they were done. They were full of blood. I was not able to contract them anymore, more efficiently, but that's a good job done. I have push them to their near failure range. Post completing this, I moved on to a straight bar tricep dip complemented with a French press, body weight French press. Now, again, this is an exercise which some might find a little bit uncomfortable. Even I do find it uncomfortable, but I can still do it. So I went ahead and did it. But if you are uncomfortable, you can choose to do a tricep push up, which is you do a push-up wherein you keep your hands close towards your body and focus more on your triceps, pushing your body up. So here I'm doing a French press, body weight French press is what we call it. Simply 
placing your arms on the bar and leaning forward and pushing yourself back up. Now I've done three sets of it with both these exercises as many repetitions as possible to get those triceps completely done for the day. Again, if you're unable to do this particular exercise, go ahead and do the tricep push-ups push as many repetitions as possible and that's a fair bit of work also. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to manage the body weight press-ups because this is where your feet are on ground and your hands are steadily on a bar. So you will be able to perform it. Just you need to try it a couple of times to figure out the proper range of motion. Now, post completing my tricep work, we are going to do the last amount of core work wherein I did crunches with three variations, three sets and did it as many repetitions as possible. Now, I have I was able to achieve only two sets because I, by the time I hit my third set, I started cramping on my abdomen, which is a very common problem for me. But I would like you to do the third set also. Now, for the first variation, I have done a complete crunch wherein I made sure that every time I get up, I actually crunch. I just don't get up, but I crunch while breathing out. And when I go down, I breathe in and I try to go down as slow as possible. And once I fail there, I do the lying down half crunches wherein you just lie down, breathe in, breathe out and crunch as strongly as possible your abdominal muscles and you should feel a great amount of crunch there. Really stressing out your front abdominal core muscles. Now post completing that, I sit up straight and do a half crunch again while sitting up straight. Again, breathing in as I stretch up, breathing out as I crunch. Now this is where you might feel a lot of discomfort because your muscles are already fatigued enough that they won't be able to push anymore. But go ahead and try to get as many repetitions as possible. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope the workout is as effective as for you as it was for me. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. The program is only going to improve a lot. We are going to keep improving ourselves and start keep building a lot of strength. Any kind of feedback, please do drop a comment. I'm finishing off with a bit of static stretching wherein I'm stretching my chest muscles first, just holding a PVC pipe over my head with my arms completely stretched out, creating that abduction of my muscles. Now you can do a couple of repetitions with a 15 to 20 second hold in this area or you can choose to do one repetition where you hold for 15 20 seconds and if the stretch is good enough, very good. Post completing that, I moved on to stretch my tricep muscles a bit. Trice, you can do multiple ways of tricep stretch. I chose to do the body weight French press lower position to uh, stretch my triceps. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a good day.